Hello everyone, we will continue the topic TMG events and in the previous video, we took the event 05, which is for new entry. We gave some name to the form routine and we gave a form and end form and the name of the form is same, which we gave here, which we gave here. Now, in between this form and end form, we will write the logic to populate the order date. And that logic is inside this form routine or subroutine. And this particular subroutine is for this particular event 05. It means for every new entry, yes, our logic will trigger and it will populate the value of order date. Now, what we will do, I will simply, simply go to editor button. I will go to change mode and in between this form and end form, I will write a logic to populate the order date. Now, what we will do, how to write the code and for the best understanding, I will open in, I will open in the debugging mode so that parallelly it will make our task easy to write the logic. So what I will do, I will open a, another session of debugging. I will go to SC54. You can go through SC11 also, no problem. I will go to events, display, editor, and I will put a breakpoint so that we can see in the debugging mode and we can write the logic based upon that. I will go to SM30 transaction mode. I will click on to maintain or edit button. I will go to new entries. I am giving order number six, payment mode credit card. Suppose total amount 100, currency INR. I am pressing enter. And now automatically I stop here because I put a breakpoint. Always, always go to desktop 3. Now, I will simply, simply put the table name here. This is our table. So, we have a variable with the same to same name as that of our table. Double click. You can see whatever you gave from the screen is appearing here. Order number six, payment mode, total amount, currency. There is no option to give the order date. So order date is coming blank. But we need to write a logic to populate the order date and we will write the logic for the same. Now, before writing the logic, just see, Order number is the primary key of the table. If I'm not giving a order number, is there any meaning of other things? No. Suppose I'm a part of any organization. If I do not have an employee ID in the organization, will my name, address has any significance? No. Same thing is here. Whenever you are creating entries, whenever you are creating new entries, if you are not giving order number, is there any sense for the same? There is no sense at all. So what we will do, I'll simply write a logic based upon that. Order number should be there. Order number is there. So after that, only we will populate the value of order date. Order number should be there. So I am writing if. Now, what is your table? Just see in the debugging and write the logic. 
This is your table name. We have a variable with same to same name. This is your variable name. What is the column name for order number? What is the column name for order number? O and O. I am writing O and O. O and O. If we are passing order number, then we will populate order date. So I am writing is not initial. Now, what is the meaning of is not initial? Is not initial means is not null, is not blank, is not empty. If your order number is not null, it means we are passing the order number. For every if, there is an end if. If we are passing the order number, then we will populate the value of order date. Just see if we are passing order number, we will write a logic to populate the order date. What is the column name for order date? O date. So how I will write? This is our variable with same name as that of table hyphen. What is column name? Order date is equal to I will write psi data. Now in SAP, whenever something starts with SY, it means it is a SAP system variable. What do you mean by system variable? System variable means they are predefined in the system. We will not declare those variables they are already identified by the system. And I am writing psi datum. It means it is a system variable for the date, current date. Suppose today is 3rd August. So this variable will automatically take 3rd August. Tomorrow it will take 4th August. So this is a system variable for the order date. So, but the logic we have written, if we are passing the value of order number, how we are checking that we are passing the order number based upon the if condition. If we are passing the order number, only in that case, order number will be not initial. Yes. And then we are passing the value of system date to which particular column order date. Now values always pass from right to left and to end a line we need to use dot. If you don't know how to put keywords on the editor just you just you can write end if and put tab. Once you put tab the keyword will be on the editor because we are going for a perception those who know coding or those who don't know coding at this point of time, they both can call. Now I will check the syntax and we will activate this particular include. Do not forget to activate the include. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we have written the logic inside our subroutine. Subroutine means form and end form. And but the logic we have written, if user is giving the value of order number, we are passing the system date to which particular column of the table order date. And firstly, we analyzed everything in the debugging mode. Whatever the values you are giving, it is coming into this variable or which has the same name as that of table. In the next video, we will understood everything in the debugging mode. Are we getting a expected output or not? So that's it in this video. Thank you.